So what's going on, everybody? I like to welcome y'all back to the game room. I am Professor Joe Casey, and uh, like like we all know, I got the finally got the PlayStation Five yesterday. Um, I was shocked to see people still trying to scalp this thing. So I don't know, maybe maybe the the supply issue hasn't been fixed, but I was able to go into a GameStop and just and just get one. Now, hold up. Let me let me let me clarify that. Let me clarify that because I don't want to, I don't want to put out uh, misinformation. I went online and uh, I saw that GameStop had one available, and I was able to go in there and and get one. I I didn't just like randomly just walk into a GameStop. I actually ordered it online before I went in though, and uh, they they didn't advertise that they had the vanilla version. Cause that's that's the version I wanted. They tried to sell me the God of War version for like five sixty, so I got that version, which I really didn't want the Ragnarok version because I haven't even finished God of War, the OG God of War on PlayStation Four yet, which I'm still playing on PS Plus. Even though I got the physical copy, I'm, I'm currently playing on PlayStation Plus. It's been in my bite log for so long. I'm like, I, I got at least be seventy five percent through that game. How much time I don't put on that game. Um, but that's that's a great game. But I wasn't looking forward to hopping into part two, and I ain't even finished part one. So I was like, man, I said I'm wasting sixty dollars on this game because I know by the time I get to playing Ragnarok, it's probably gonna be somewhere for like ten dollars. So when I got there and they told me that they had the OG version, man, I was so happy. I was like, man, hey, take that, take that crap back. Let me get the OG version. Give me my sixty dollars, um, and. I be, I be straight, but then on my way out, I saw no I saw no more Heroes Three for the Switch, and that was like fifteen dollars, and that was sealed, so I picked that up, and I took the rest of my money, and uh, you know I was straight. So since I've been sitting down playing this thing, man, you know I'm still kind of worried that they're gonna come out with the PS Five Pro in a year or two, but I'm not even tripping. I'm not even tripping. I want to get on that PS VR this March. I want to get on that Resident Evil Village. I want to get on uh. I, I I guess I want to play that um that dog pictures game. It seemed it seemed a lot to me like uh what what that game that came out on PlayStation Four on um, PSVR one. Uh, it it was the same like roller coaster shooter game. I can't think of it right now for nothing. It's it was an Until Dawn game, but that's that kind of what that dog picture. It seemed like Until Dawn Part Two. So I mean, I kind of want to play it, but like Until Dawn is still a pretty good game itself. So I'm not really like in a rush to play that. There's a couple other VR games I want to play, but let's talk about the PS5, man, because I'm I'm kind of liking what we get from PS Plus, even though they they still got a long way to go. They still got a lot of games they need to put on now. I was happy to be able to play Miles Morales finally. <laughs> Look, I don't know if I'm ready to fly solo. You gotta take the oath. I promise to do everything in my power to protect this city. I promise. Whoa. Que guapo. Gracias, mami. Guys, I wanted to thank you. Both of you. You need to lay low. Don't trust anybody, and don't take off that mask. This message is from Roxxon. The underground will stop it. They need you. Miles, what's the underground doing? They're after new form. Take her. Stop. <sighs> Gotta say, I'm disappointed, bud. Krieger. <laughs> You think you can beat the Tinker? Roxo, you can't! Every time I think I got this Spider-Man thing figured out, something goes wrong. Miles, our family doesn't give up. Whenever you say Spider-Man, you always mean the other one. You're Spider-Man. You can fix this. Your way. This is my time. I'm seizing the moment cause I gotta go for the time gone. Get it in the dark cause I'm bringing the light with a nice star I shine on I see it coming, I don't need a sign This the moment, I'ma make it mine This is my time My time, my time now 
my time, my time. <laughs> Didn't have to pay no money to play that. Um, so, you know, Miles Morales, the like the latest Spider-Man game, and that, that that was a pretty good game, man. You know, so I put like two hours in that. Really enjoying that. Really enjoying that Miles Morales. Uh, you know what I mean? And I hit that's a shorter game, so I'm gonna try to try to knock that out. Probably by next week, I'm gonna try to finish that. If y'all want me to do a review on that, y'all can let me know. I do a review, but I'm pretty sure all y'all. I'm two years behind. I'm pretty sure all y'all done already beat Miles Morales, who got the PS5 or who interested in. I'm pretty sure y'all done played that till it till it was you know not that out. But I'm I'm happy to be able to play it and not have have to spend no money. So I tip my hat to Sony for that. Other than what I paid for the uh, PlayStation and the PS Plus uh, subscription, so that was one. Another game I was happy to get into was Returnal. Over and over, I relive my first moments on this alien planet. Crash. The attack. My death. The crash. The attack. My death. Trapped in this endless cycle. Even death is no escape. Each time I awake, this planet seems somehow different, as if changing. This world is becoming part of me, infecting my mind, my memories. The longer I spend here, the more I can feel my sanity slip away. But I cannot lose hope. My only choice is to keep fighting. To keep looking for answers. My only hope is to break the cycle. Before the cycle breaks me. I heard so much about that game. Uh, wasn't about to pay six seventy dollars for it, <laughs> but uh, for for what I've been playing, it's, it's an amazing looking game. It looks awesome, it's a crazy good looking game, man. Uh, you know, so can't wait to put a little bit more time into that. See where that game go. I'm glad I didn't uh, watch no sp spoiler video reviews or nothing on that. So I get to go into this thing fresh and like. I know everybody who done played it, they probably tired of looking at it. They don't want to hear about it. But for me, it's fresh and it's new. So I'm glad to be able to play that game. Another game I've been wanting to play, big game, huge game. Um, I got the physical disc for the PS4, but I didn't play it because I didn't want to play it until I finally got the PlayStation 5. And that's that Final Fantasy VII. So that thing, that's a whisper too, huh? Looks a lot more like an arbiter of fate than the others. We can beat them. What the? I think it's coming this way. What have you done? Let's make it a night to remember. Now, let the hunt begin! Cloud, 
Lend me your strength. Let us defy destiny together. Don't deny me. Embrace me. Finally got to play Final Fantasy VII uh, on the PS5. It looks gorgeous. Amazing game. I know it's old. Everybody done beat it. But I haven't watched no spoiler videos on it. I didn't even play the OG Final Fantasy VII. So I'm going into this thing, you know, fresh with no expectations. And I can just fully enjoy what the game has to offer just from an amazing graphical standpoint. So that's another thing I tip my hat to on PlayStation for that. So, <laughs> like, you know, uh, there's some value in PS Plus. You know, so... <laughs> It's some value in it. Uh, so I'm, I'm not really... I, I used to be very critical of PS Plus comparing it to Game Pass, but I've been noticing I've been playing PS Plus way more than Game Pass. And I've been going back playing older games on PS Plus. Even the games you got to stream, like Darkness for the PS3 and stuff like that. So I'm really appreciating... I'm starting to... I'm starting to it's PlayStation Plus is starting to grow on me. So, you know, I salute PlayStation for that. So, like, them three big games right there, man. Uh, Returnal, Final Fantasy. Well, what, 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 what else I was playing on that? Stray. My kids love Stray. That's a very underrated game, man. A lot of people are sleeping on straight. I know it's a cat simulator, but man, the graphics on that game is top notch. The puzzles is kind of cool, and it's kind of creepy. <laughs> it, it's not too creepy to the point where it's like I would say it's a hard game. Nah, it, it ain't. But it's like for for the kids, the little kids, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, like. It's it's easy to get creeped out about the situation that cat find itself in, and you know you're trying to help the cat survive, and things are trying to kill the cat. It, it got a little horror element to it. So you know, Stray, that's another great game I, I was finally able to play. Um, but what come what it comes down to, the game that I'm most happiest to be able to play on that on on that PS5 is Ghost of Tsushima. When we fight, we face our enemy head on. And when we take their life, we look them in the eye with courage and respect. This is what makes us samurai. be thousands of them. We will face death and defend our home. Survivors. I am Samurai. No, you are more than that. You are the ghost. Convince your people to join me, and I will give them peace. We will never serve you. <laughs> I've never seen a Samurai fight like that. It was nothing. Oh, oh. You are more than a Samurai. He is a vengeful spirit, back from the grave to slaughter the Mongols. If you continue down this path, 
You will be no better than the Mongols. I trained you to fight with honor. Honor died on the beach. The Khan deserves to suffer. That's the game that I'm most excited to be able to play on that. But, you know, I still want to get a physical copy of that game. But like I said, man, I ain't even I ain't even really jump into the whole PS Plus catalog. So I don't even really know everything that's there for me to play. I seen Death Loop, but you know, I already played that on the Series X. So I, I probably won't be downloading that to the PS5. But uh it's so many games that I'm I'm just like ready to check out see how they look, and get into, man. So I'm not really too disappointed in my PS5 purchase. Plus, like, I already had 30 games for it because you guys know, like, anytime I see a PS5 game for under $10, I'm picking it up. So I already had 30 physical games for it. Then you got the PS Plus collection for it. So, like, I all I, all I had to really do was just drop $500 for the PS5, and I was able to just hop in there and, you know, really like play to my heart was content yesterday i'm finna play all day again today and it's you know i i, I see myself being happy with this system for a hot little minute because i'm extremely happy with my xbox series x i'm even happy with the series s you know something that my kids can play from time to time and from time to time i like to switch games to see the difference from the series x and the series s and a lot of times to the naked eye i can't tell no difference both systems look amazing. The PlayStation 5, in my opinion right now, looks a little bit better than the Series X. Even though, you know, from the spec perspective, they saying that the Series X has more power than the PS5. But when you just take the naked eye test, just off graphical uh, fidelity, just forget all the spec stuff. You're just looking at the games and how they perform. I got to give a little notch to the PlayStation 5. So... I don't know the specs. I'm not no spec guy, so but I'm just going off of just what I see. So I'm, I'm, I'm real happy, man. You know, I, I I don't feel like I got hustled too much by PlayStation because it's it's a lot of offerings that I could just jump right into, and I don't have to look at the seventy dollar market, which I really don't want to do. That's another reason why I didn't really want to get the God of War edition because I didn't want to pay that much money for a God of War game when when I know. I'm not going to be able to get to it no time soon because I have a bite law that's so crazy. I know the God of War game is going to be amazing. I know it's going to have a whole bunch of characters and plot lines and everything in there. Like, Sony is not going to sleep on God of War Ragnarok because that's one of their biggest franchises. I know they're going to make sure they do what they got to do with that game. But I'm not in no rush to play it. It's, it's still going to be great when I finally get it in that bargain bin. It's, it's so many games I, I done played, man, like the last three, four years that was like super old. And like I put them in and I played them for the first time and I still, I I can't imagine the people who played the, those games when they first came out. I can't imagine that, that, that those people got better experiences than I got just because they played it earlier. Cause when something is new, it's new. It don't matter if it's if it's if it's old to somebody else, but it's new to you. So you still gonna get that same new car vibe that somebody. Oh man, that's old man. I play that. Okay, cool, good for you. I'm playing it now, and I'm, I'm blown away. Kind of like with the Last of Us. I ain't played Last of Us in like 2017, and my mind was blown. And everybody else played it in like 2013 when it first came out, but I ain't get to it till 2017. My mind was blown, blown away. So, and by by that time, PlayStation Four and everything else was out. But I'm I'm still I'm play I played The Last of Us on the OG PS3 because I wanted to get the. I think they had came out with the remake, but I the remake came out like a year after The Last of Us Part. I think the remake came out like a year or two, and I had just got my PS4, but I I ain't want to go get it for the PS4. I played it on the PS3 because it was two dollars at GameStop, and my mind was blown. So. Let me go ahead and get back to my gaming, man. Like, you know, I just really want to just take this time out and enjoy this PlayStation 5 while I still got that new car smell to it. I just wanted to stop and just give y'all an update on what I've been playing and, and you know, how I've been vibing with it. Y'all be cool on your stool. Understand that kicking with two peas in the pot, then kicking the stove ain't hot. I'm go Casey, and I'm going to holler at you.